8 program is back just in time for the return of severe weather season sometime after this cold front moves through. The Panhandle Regional Planning Commission is expected to receive a grant to help the people of the High Plains install storm shelters. If you've ever thought of putting in a storm shelter, now would be a good time to act. Not only is it severe weather season again, but Uncle Sam is going to help foot the bill. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is expected to approve a half million dollar grant for the 26 counties of the Texas Panhandle. They are um, trying to work to make sure that residents are in a secure place because we are in Tornado Alley. Lori Gunn with the Panhandle Regional Planning Commission says they periodically have these rebates, but they go fast. That's because FEMA will pay half the cost of the shelter up to $3,000. Of all the councils of government in the state of Texas, we have the most popular program and the longest wait list. <laughs> in fact, many councils of governments have had to shut their program down because of lack of um, interest. There are some qualifications to get the rebate, though. You must own the home at the time of the rebate or must be a builder or developer, and that home cannot be within a FEMA-mapped floodplain. If you do qualify, expect to wait a little while. The waiting list is currently at 700. For the folks that received a rebate in the summer of 2014, they had been on the wait list for a little over a year. Now, Gunn says the wait list actually grew significantly last year to the more than 700 because of the number of severe storms we had in our area again last summer. Well,